Travis Schreiber representing Kids Build in Wisconsin. Uh, welcome to Mr. Schreiber's Neighborhood. I'm joined by Erica Cleaver, and Erica is a project manager with J.P. Cullen working on a construction site in Verona. Erica, thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. Can you tell me about your job? What do you do? Sure. So uh, as a project manager in Verona at our job site, I do a number of different things under what we consider miscellaneous projects. So I do uh, remodeling of existing buildings. We have white box spaces that are parts of buildings that don't have anything built in them yet and we'll build conference rooms, we build offices, and we do a lot of work with our owner for their uh, specific events that they host on their campus. When you were younger, what do you think led you towards a career in construction or maybe project management? What did you like doing that kind of brought you from where you were to where mm -hmm. you are now? I uh, was very hands-on with all the different activities when I was younger. My father is a plumbing contractor, so it kind of helped, you know, being around construction all the time. He definitely let me help out around the house, and we would fix things together and build things, and it was just a lot of fun to be able to, like, work on something hands-on and see, you know, something be completed. What drew you to construction? So I think it's just kind of how I was raised, like I mentioned, working with my dad. I always loved seeing the process and, um, you know, women can bring a lot to the table when it comes to construction. I don't think it needs to be specifically male dominated and women have a, often a different outlook, uh, bringing kind of some more emotion into the communication process. and. Um, a lot of the tasks are detail oriented, which women are typically good at. So in terms of scheduling and estimating and um, making the team, you know, function together, I think that women have, like I said, a lot to bring to the table and it's a really good opportunity that they should look at, um, you know, as a potential career path. Great. And you are involved in Kids Building Wisconsin. You'll be part of the event mm -hmm. on May 9th. What are you most looking forward to? I am most looking forward to the kids enjoying seeing all of the tools and equipment that will be there. I think, you know, for me, that was, it's always cool to see the big equipment. And even when I go to my job site every day, I'm just in awe at, at all the work that we do in such a short amount of time. So I just, I can't wait for them to be so excited to learn about construction and engineering and, you know, hopefully that they, they take that as an option for a career for themselves down the road sometime. And is there planning for this career, um, let's say it's something like your career, what are the skills they need to have in order to get it? Having good communication skills. There are a lot of team members involved throughout the construction process and being able to communicate properly is very important. Being able to read blueprints is also um, something that you learn kind of, you know, whether through school or the skilled trades is very important for construction. Being able to understand um, spatially how things go together on paper versus how it will be built in the real world. And um, just having a basic understanding of logic and sequencing for construction and a, a basic understanding of math is important for our field as well. Well, thank you, Erica Cleaver, and thank you for being a part of Kids Building Wisconsin. Erica is also on the board of Kids Building Wisconsin. We're both looking forward to the event on May 9th. Uh, I'm Travis Schreiber from Mr. Schreiber's Neighborhood. We'll see you on May 9th.